Welcome back to the American Rancher. Mystic Hill Farm near Culpeper, Virginia is a prime operation that raises Bronby cattle. Tommy Clark is the managing partner there. Hi, I'm Tommy Clark. Welcome to Mystic Hill Farm in Culpeper, Virginia. The Bronby cattle have worked well, particularly in combination with our Angus base. Uh, the cattle have done very well uh, from a maternal standpoint as well as from a uh, carcass standpoint, typically uh, crossing a Bronve on uh, a British or, or Angus based cow herd will improve the uh, yield grade of the carcass by about one whole yield grade. And the Bronve influence does not diminish the marbling or the intermuscular fat, uh, particularly when compared with the other continental or European breeds. This set of heifers basically are yearlings as of last spring and will calve in the spring of 2009 as two-year-olds. Uh, they will be combinations of what are our foundation genetics in the Bromley breed, which will include uh, spit and image, um, pure chrome, and our lifeline cow family. And certainly through either sons or daughters of those combinations, uh, there are several daughters here of the MHF New Era Bull who was a pure chrome son. Bronby that are descended exclusively from Swiss original Bronby are defined as full bloods by the Bronby Association of America. Purebred Bronby are achieved through a breed up program. And once cows become 7 8 Bronby and bulls become 15 16 Bronby, they are classified as purebred. Percentage cattle down to one quarter Bronby are allowed to be registered. These cattle can be defined by breeders to be promoted as beef builders if they are derived from a registered Bronby and an unregistered parent, or as certified beef builders if at least one parent is a registered Bronby and the other is registered by any recognized U.S. breed association. Tommy Clark describes himself as a beef enthusiast. Part of the program at Mystic Hill Farms is the blending of both Angus and Bronby cattle. What really got us interested early in was the carcass attributes of the Bronby cattle, particularly when they're combined with the Angus uh, in, in, a, in a combination or a composite. In the mid-90s, we incorporated some Bronby genetics, uh, first just using some semen on some Bronby bulls. When we calved out those first half-blood females, we realized that we had really uh, basically stumbled upon something that was pretty special. Having seen uh, practically every other combination with Angus cows in terms of crossbreds, I was uh, very impressed with these uh, Bronby Angus females. Beef builders are part of the Bronby Angus program at Mystic Hill. These are percentage Bronby cattle that make both very good bulls and females. The program at Mystic Hill is built on cattle that work well in their environment and not so much on the front page sire of the breed at any given time. They also focus on selection made through low inputs. Feed efficiency is something that we're also measuring and focusing on. Uh, cattle that are efficient will certainly require less inputs and therefore have the potential to have more net return. A lot of the uh, Angus cattle that we have will trace to the Emulation 31 breeding uh, through either EXT or 5522 or even the, uh, the Leachman Right Time Bull. Uh, and then also back to a cornerstone here, the VDAR Bando 701 Bull that we actually had here and uh, was leased to Accelerated Genetics. When we combine our well-proven maternal Angus genetics with our Bronby cattle that, that we are working with and particularly with the combinations of the, of the two with the Bronby beef builders uh, including Angus and Bronby. What we find is that we not only have an advantage with the heterosis and the hybrid vigor along with the additional muscle that they bring with their genetics.
Welcome back to the American Rancher. Ridgefield Farm was established in the 1950s by Mr. E.J. Whitmire. In the year 2000, Ridgefield made a transition into the Braun V. Seed Stock business. But as we'll see on today's show, Steve Whitmire didn't stop there. Ridgefield Farm was founded in 1954 and is located in the Blue Ridge Mountains of southwestern North Carolina next to Georgia and 17 miles from Tennessee. The farm consists of about a thousand acres with 165 head of registered Bronby cows and 12 herd sires that are among the best in the breed. The farm also has 60 registered Angus and 50 hybrid Bronby Angus cows as well. It's owned by Steve Whitmire. I grew up in the cattle business uh, as well as construction business. We always had cattle, we had some hogs, had show calves. And my dad over a period of roughly 25 years accumulated a little over a thousand acres of property here in Cherokee County, extreme western North Carolina. We're in the heart of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Steve is a very personable cattleman and businessman. He enjoys people and is a natural born promoter. Today, Ridgefield Farm is a fully integrated livestock operation, providing breed leading genetics to their seed stock customers and highly efficient, rapidly growing cattle with outstanding carcass traits to commercial cattle customers. They also feed and supply meat of superior quality to the consumer. In 1999, Ridgefield purchased their first two Bronby bulls to breed to their commercial cows. They wanted cattle that would perform in the feed yard and be profitable on the rail. What followed was good. They liked their Bronby sired calves so much that in 2000, they made the decision to become a breeder of Bronby seed stock. I looked and studied every breed available. Interestingly enough, I found the best balance both between maternal, easy keeping, and carcass traits of all other breeds. Bronby. The mama cows are the number one rated cow by the Meat Animal Research Center in terms of maternal milk. The bulls and the cows both are known as being very docile. They're easy to work. We seldom if ever have to cull either a heifer or a bull due to problems with attitude. Bronvi are well-muscled and among the thickest of beef cattle. The breed is well-recognized for being very structurally correct and a unique blend of both strong carcass and maternal qualities. They cross well with other breeds and perform well at all stages of beef production. The cattle are unbelievably adaptable to all environments. We've got cattle, uh, sold quite a few bulls down into Okeechobee, Florida. We've got bulls that we've sold to repeat customers in Voltaire, North Dakota, in Campment, Wyoming, Colorado, where they're thriving at eight plus thousand feet of elevation and minus 40 degrees in the winter. Since 2008, Ridgefield Farm has used a state-of-the-art grow safe system to measure feed efficiency in their cattle. Here at Ridgefield, we are the only cattle operation east of the Mississippi River who has installed a grow safe feeding system. This feeding system allows us to determine an RFI value or residual feed intake value, which is a measure of feed efficiency in cattle. As a seed stock producer in today's environment and with us buying calves back under a contract where we pay a premium, the performance of our cattle is a key to our success, not only to our reputation, but how we actually perform financially speaking. We made a decision, having studied the Growth Safe system for a number of years, that it was, would be one of the best investments of our money and resources and time. We test every animal on the place, both heifers and bulls. Studies indicate that you might be able to run as many as 20 to 25 percent more cows on the same pasture land or increase your stocking rate if you select for high feed efficient animals over about three generations retaining those heifers. 
if I were to go out and buy a, a bull that had been tested and had a negative RFI and I was going to bring that home and, and use that in matings or in, the, in my cow herd, what Ridgefield can do is they can test the female for RFI and then make pointed matings to have a negative or efficient uh, female bred to a negative or efficient bull. And that simply allows them to, to expedite or speed up uh, their potential to produce genetics that are going to be superior in terms of feed efficiency or more correctly residual feed intake. What we've learned is the variance can be as little as four pounds of dry matter per pound of gain to as much as nine pounds of dry matter per pound of gain. So basically if you're looking at, at a spread of as much as five pounds of feed per pound of gain difference between the low RFI and the high RFI numbers and you extrapolate that over 700 pounds taking a feeder calf from 550 to 1250 and you factor in 150 to 200 dollars per ton for your feed the savings are dramatic. Ridgefield sells breeding stock in 14 states with repeat customers located as far away as North Dakota, Wyoming, Colorado, Texas, and Florida. In 2010, Mr. RF Atlas 212U was selected as grand champion at the National Western Stock Show in Denver. Ridgefield's objective is to produce cattle that will make their customers more money. And their Braun v. Bull deal is a testimony of their confidence in the siring ability of their bulls. We sell bulls, give our customers a contract guaranteeing to buy back their calves, pay them a premium over their local markets. The Braun v. are, number one, they're very docile. Number two, you get a lot of increased heterosis. Uh, also, on this buyback program, I don't have to worry about what color my cattle are. You know, they're all the same price. I don't have to worry about sale commissions. I don't have to worry about yardage charges. We get full carcass data back on every calf that we sell back through the calf buyback program, which that helps in uh, culling your cow herd and also your calf crop. Long Branch Cattle Company runs about 500 head of mama cows and uh, we're running currently I think 15 or 20 Ron B. Bulls. First time I ever seen it was in the uh, Cattleman Today and I read it and I, I thought it was a joke. I showed it to Steve and we come over and one and I said what about this? Will you do this? Yeah. He had 10 bulls. We wound up buying the 10 bulls. Under the Ridgefield buyback program, he's bought 3,000 or more. Bought them back from us. Stockman, make plans to attend the Ridgefield Farm Annual Performance RFI Tested Bull and Proven Female Sale on Saturday, March 20th at the farm in Brasstown, North Carolina, beginning at 1 p.m. Eastern. The auction will be broadcast over the internet at superiorlive.com. For catalog information, go to ridgefieldfarm.net. We cull between 25 and 35 percent of both our heifers and our bulls every year to ensure that our seed stock buyers get only the best and the ones that we think will perform. Not only does that help our reputation, but if I refer you back to our Ridgefield Farm Brodenby Bull deal, when we buy those calves back, if they don't work, it bites us in the tail. So we have a big incentive to ensure that we only sell the best breeding stock to our customers. The Ridgefield females are mature and proven. Stockmen will get the opportunity to acquire cows that are in the prime of production. Ronvi cows are highly productive as the breed on the whole is a unique balance of maternal and carcass characteristics. We sell every female on the place when she's either after she's had four calves or six years old. When we have a female sale, we want people from all over the country to know that the best cow in the place is not hidden over the hill on the back 40. If she met the age criteria, she's for sale. 
When we come back, we'll visit more with Ridgefield Farm and learn about their Brasstown Beef Enterprise in scenic North Carolina. This is the American Rancher. Don't go away. Welcome back to the American Rancher. We've come to know that Braun V cattle are very productive and high performing. Steve Whitmire has taken a further step in his operation with the development of Brasstown beef for retailers and restaurants. Here's more on our story. Ridgefield Farm is a progressive operation to say the least. Steve Whitmire and the staff are involved and understand well the primary phases of the beef business. Ridgefield not only breeds quality cattle, but they also feed cattle and take them through to finish and have also developed an aged, all-natural product line, Brasstown Beef, for restaurants and retailers. And the good news? It's all working. We are a USDA-approved supplier of beef to both restaurants as well as to butcher shops. We're currently serving, oh, I guess, six or seven counties in extreme western North Carolina and North Georgia. We currently have about 600 cattle on feed. We hope to be in some high-end grocery stores where people care about how their, where their meat comes from, how it's been handled, and how it's been raised. Better than roses, this will put a flush in your honey's cheeks. Take her out for a steak at Kachina Rustica in Morganton, Doyle Cedar Hill Restaurant in Murphy, the Oaks Restaurant in Hiawassee, Harvest on the Main in Blue Ridge, or Murphy's Downtown Diner for dinner and a movie. All of them proudly serving brass town beef. It's real beef raised right around here, without all the added hormones and antibiotics. Brass Town Beef, 828-837-6015. People enjoy Brasstown beef and comment on its flavor and consistency. The beef that we're buying from uh, Brasstown beef is dry aged, and that dry age really makes a difference in how it tastes. And I grew up in a custom slaughter business, and uh, we always felt like that, that dry age was the, the way to, to do it, and, and uh, Brasstown beef is that way. I've had people call up after buying a steak saying that it was the best steak they've had. That is the appeal of Brasstown beef that it is local grown, hormone free, antibiotic free. Yeah, I used to use Kobe beef in my restaurant also, which is supposed to be the most expensive beef there is. And I think Brasstown fillets are just as tender and flavorful as Kobe beef. They prefer it much better. We would have we would have a uh, a ride on our heads, I think, if we went back to the <laughs> to the regular ground beef. Most people say they can go down the street and get a Kimber. Mm -hmm. They can come to our restaurant and get what they call the best burger. The well, cost, the quality of the meat, it's moist, it's good, and it's a good sized burger. And so they'd much rather come and even they have to pay a little more than go down the street and get a different burger. Ridgefield's objective is to produce cattle that will make their customers more money. Their bulls are moderate framed, fertile, durable, and easy keeping, and on average serve stockmen seven to nine years. The calves are easily born, grow quickly, gain efficiently, and produce carcasses with yield grades of one and two, and low to average choice quality grade. I summarize by saying we are in the cattle business, and having the best cattle available for our customers is of paramount importance to us. Ridgefield Farm is a great story in American ranching. They're supplying stockmen with cattle that do the job in the feed yard and on the rail. Make plans for the Ridgefield Farm annual performance RFI tested bull and proven female sale on March 20th. The auction will be carried over the internet at superiorlive.com. Don't miss it.